had an event that started at like 8 30 um <laughs> the UNFPA but I'm just now leaving my apartment and it's like nine o'clock <laughs> stayed up really late last night working on that presentation and I just really need to kind of focus on school right now but I do want to go and at least show face because I told my boss that I would go so I'm gonna go say hi I'm also kind of excited because it's on this like little island in New York that I've never been to so that should be nice I'm probably gonna leave my big big camera here just because United Nations I feel like it would just be awkward and security things if I vlogged with my huge camera so the next couple clips will be on my iPhone, but I will see you guys when I see you on our little island. I'm forgetting what the island is called, and I don't want to say the wrong one, but yeah. Also, last night I got the funniest comment on one of my YouTube videos, and I just want to say I have been to more protests. I just weren't, I wasn't vlogging on those days, and I did actually get some footage, so I'll insert some footage from other Columbia Palestine protests here, but yeah. Don't drag me like that, oh my god. <laughs> All right, and yeah, we are off to Starbucks. <laughs> Nearly 700,000 Palestinians, 75% of the population out of their homes in 1948. Yeah. Yeah. Which has since escalated with virtual impunity. The Zionist project is reaching its apex as Israel continues to violate international law by indiscriminately bombing civilians and cutting off their access to food, water, medicine, and fuel. As we write this, a Palestinian child is killed every 10 minutes. These attacks are explicitly connected to Israel's attempts to annex more Palestinian land and ethnically cleanse it of its indigenous population. As such, it is imperative that we act now. If we wait, there may not be a Gaza left. We cannot take action to stop further atrocities if individuals and authorities distort and silence our voices. Deliberate negligence by Colombia's administration severely compromises the safety of students and threatens our ability to advocate for this issue.
women's rights finally come to be. And of all the letters, nobody can do it better. It's UNFPA, you see. bus and then like leaving I again had to take like three trains and a shuttle bus and it just took me entirely way too long. I still have to work on this project because I have a presentation tomorrow so I'm probably gonna do that. Change it to some of my new pajamas from Old Navy which I'm really excited about um, and then have some tea. I'll probably have some soup because I'm just cold and I want something like warm to have in my Belly. Um, and then after we change and eat something, we can probably do the advent calendars for the 5th. Oh my god, it's the 6th! We've been vlogging it for two days now. Okay, we can do the advent calendars for the 6th in a bit. And um, yeah, I was supposed to post a video today. I have not posted it. I honestly, I have to work on school stuff first. Let's uh, let's get into some comfy clothes because I am freezing. I did. I literally just wore that vest and like I was so cold and we were like kind of low key in a tent and like I do not recommend. I mean honestly, from here on out, I think it's straight parka for the rest of the season. <laughs> really good I truly have not wow I haven't really been drinking them because I've been keeping them over here and all my tea stuff is over there but I'll drink them eventually it even tells you like how high you should cook the tea like it says like 200 degrees Celsius or whatever that's kind of crazy or I guess 200 degrees Fahrenheit but, like not that much Celsius like 95 okay so that's good and then the cat we have the six Jacques honestly has not been able to keep up with all the treats that he's been getting so I might just like leave these wrapped in the paper for now because he still has a lot of them in his bowl that he hasn't eaten yet. And then for the piece de la resistance, you like my French? <laughs> we have the advent calendar one. All right, here we go. just thinking that I should paint my nails because they're like chipping this is such a pretty color red oh my god I'm gonna paint my nails literally tomorrow wow and I've never tried this brand before either patent and shine wow okay I'm really happy about this because I'm definitely gonna paint my nails literally tomorrow this color because I was just looking at them and I was thinking they're not looking that hot this Anthropology Advent Calendar has really been coming through. I do want to chat with you guys about like um, 
like 2024 when I'm kind of thinking about like what's next in my life in general. But I'm wondering if I should include that in a vlog or if I should include that as like a standalone video. But I don't know. We'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any preferences about like chit chatty vlogs or if you guys would rather have me chat with you in like a one on one video. But for now, I am going to say goodbye for you guys for today. I'll probably vlog tomorrow, bring you guys up to campus with me, but right now I really just want to make sure that I finish my presentation in time so I don't feel super rushed and flustered when I wake up tomorrow, and hopefully I can get a video out for you guys today too. So I'm going to love you and leave you here, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Don't stop watching. Oh, also, make sure you subscribe. Mm-hmm. <laughs>